Okay, here's where we're at now. This weekend for three days, Wenatchee National Forest Campground Boat Launching Wish Push Push. Okay, this is actually part of uh, Ronald Washington, which is in the area of Roslyn, Washington, where they didn't they do a show there? Cleallum is nine miles away, Salmon La Suck. We were up in this area a while back at the Red Rock Campground. We started to go down there, but uh, the river was dry. It was down to a trinkle. So we decided to come up here. So uh, here it is. Hey, if you like this video and want to see more, give me a thumbs up. Give me a like. Give me a share my videos with people. I got my hat on. I got this in Hawaii two years ago. I had rented a... Uh, a Camaro convertible and my head I mean I got hair but it gets kind of thin so I had to have a hat because I put the top down all right see ya in a bit bye all right guys this is the inside of the Ozark tent like I said this is a 12 person tent and Miss Indigo just got it for herself and her fur babies Roscoe you got anything you want to say to the YouTube audience he says, I want to run around. But check this out. This is a queen size bed. And she's got stuff over here. She's got a little fan. She's got that Schumacher uh, power pack. I think I've showed you guys this before. I got one of these. I give this one to her. The only thing about this one, the 110 doesn't work. But she can charge up and play her uh, uh, videos. Videos. Okay, she can charge up her iPhone. But look at this. This is nice, and if you want to, you can put a, a room divider because this is kind of sort of like the one we had, and that's the other fur baby, Roxy. Roxanne, how you doing, girl? You like camping? Find you a spot. Okay, Miss Roxy here. She's about 15 to 17 years old and still going strong. She got a little bit of a she blinded in this eye, but the girl dog is doing good. This is a men pin, and I tell you what, she's a good dog. Good dog, okay. But they got it. Look, they got their own little space. They got a bed, they got the food, and there's Roscoe. Roscoe wants to get out and party and run around like a wild man. Okay, you got to sit in the dirt. Your mama make you sit in the dirt. All yeah, right, okay. Like I said, and then here's the uh. The cooking area for the glamper van adventures van there's indigo's water here's here's the stove and like i said with indigo shower she uses this uh this bladder we need to fill this up with water you leave this sitting out here for a few hours and it gets hot and you got hot water i've showed you guys this stove before I need to pick up my propane tank to it I'm still okay now check this out this is a, uh, a shower tent but this shower tent is a double on one side you can put your porta potty toilet a lot of times you can just use one of these buckets put some I've talked about this before put some of that sawdust and or the coconut fibers in here you have no smell in it, okay? Use biodegradable bags or just regular plastic bags, but you got this little seat. And you and she puts a little table in here. She got her toilet paper, she got her fan, hand sanitizer. Look, all kind of stuff. Look at here. This is first class. And then she's this is a shower area. She's got a little teak wood board there for uh, standing around taking a shower. Look at that. She got towels. And all she gotta do is once we get the uh the bladder full of water you hang it up there uh, let me get the oh she's got a flashlight up there but you hang your bladder up there and it's gravity fed and you can take a nice soothing shower sometimes it just depends you know we have to boil the water but uh, this is a great setup look at this thing is about six feet long but maybe four foot wide got all the amenities you need you know you stake it down if it's too windy it's not too windy out here okay but uh 
was kind of on the side of her tent. Let me back up a little bit. But this is this is glamping. You know, we got the glamping van, adventures van, but you can also glamp like this. You don't have to sit on the ground. I showed you earlier the queen size mattress and then the uh, shower and bathroom tent. It's a lot of things you can do. All right, it's Chuck. I'll talk to you in a minute. Bye. Yeah, they make uh, they make pretty good stuff. Like I said, we got a picnic table, and I have I have an area to where I do have sun, so I have the Jackery, as you know, supply my power, and I was able to get the uh, the solar panels. I'm gonna jump up here for a quick second. If the camera falls back, it's because I fell off. But you know, this is the back of the glamper band. But I put my solar panels up here. These are the portable folding ones. And okay, they're getting a little bit of sunlight now. You know, we got a lot of trees, but something's better than nothing. They're at the, I checked on the Jackery and it's actually at 100% now. I may have to move the panels a little bit, but uh, we'll be all right. Cause you know, sometimes what I do, I'll, I'll run it all day off, off the Jackery. And then at night, I'll turn it off because everything's still so super cold. I think I keep my freezer down at nine degrees and my refrigerator just above freezing like 35 to 38. So it all works good. But this, this is a nice area, a lot of woods. Okay, but we're kind of out of the area. But when we first came out here, it seemed like stuff was falling out of these trees. I don't know, like I said, I've, I've told you guys before to watch out for the widow makers. But I think there were squirrels up here because it was like pine cones were falling down. Couldn't see nothing, but I looked up in the trees and you know. But uh, Glamper Band Adventurous, give me a like, give me a thumbs up, share this video, hit the notification bell, and I'll be talking at you later. All right, bye. Okay, we're on guard dog duty. Mr. Roscoe here has to check everything out before it's safe to uh, proceed. How's that tree trunk looking, dude? You gonna have to water it down? Huh? You gonna water it down? Yeah, dude, come on, let's, okay, let's go this way. We're on patrol now. We got, let's go this way, dude, come on. Yeah, gotta check it out. What's that one look like? Does it look dangerous? What do you think? Hmm. Yeah, let me get a little sniff here and uh, see what's going on. Mm. Okay, this is what I created in the woods. Hey, gotta do something. This is my creative side. There was a stump down there. I put a log on there, then another log, and then these ones up here. Okay. And the stick is pointing west. Okay. So this is bear country. They put out notices on the picnic tables that there could be bears out here, so don't leave no food or anything that might be inviting for the bears. Don't leave your garbage out. And bears, they love all that garbage and whatever kind of scraps you have. I haven't seen any bears, but I did see some deer earlier. Hmm. Like I said, there's the, uh, oh, don't go too fast. You can see the camp over there. Uh. 
Flapper Van Adventures in the woods, Ronald Washington, 1835-1840.